Welcome back to renovating the chateau at Chateau de la Couture. So while we await Julian's return from the UK, this week we're going to share with you the full renovation story of our favourite bathroom in the chateau. Once again, we're venturing up the grand staircase to the second floor and the front of the chateau. This area was really dark and depressing, with some very weird colour choices when we first moved here, yet gradually over time we've been able to change that. All of our bedroom suites here at Chateau de la Couture are named after trees in the chateau's grounds. So from this hallway and through the door to the left, it takes you through to what is now our bedroom suite, named the Cherry, because it looks over our cherry trees and the gardens. We started this bathroom renovation in the depths of winter, and the bathroom suite in here wasn't too bad. So our original idea was to try and salvage the suite and renovate the room around it. This made progress really awkward, and little did we know how much drama and about turns we would have to go through in order to finish the renovation of this room. People have asked a couple of people, why are you plastering the entire wall? Why are you not just filling? All right, well, let's give you an idea. This is what a lot of the walls are like. This one's actually not bad. But this is just an example of how the walls are. Now, this is going to be terrible to fill, and ours. So rather than trying to do this for every wall and still not get a perfect finish, it is much easier to give yourself another blank canvas and start, do the plastering and start with a flat wall. You can see this is where the previous plaster had been done and you can see the old wall made out of mud and hair. So this is the old traditional form of plastering <laughs> or wall building for the internal structure. So this is what I'm going to attempt to tidy up today. bedroom suite bathroom and the floor has now been sanded it's had its first sand and things have had just a bit of a clean mop the floor at this stage although we were really getting somewhere with the bathroom we weren't happy we just hated the ceiling and we realized it needed to go so as you can see a little bit darker here at the moment again the shutter is shut because I am on with painting um, bathroom window. Um, I do just have this um, window sill to paint now. We have decided um, that we are going to um, completely overhaul the bathroom now. So what Julian is doing is taking off these sort of dado-y bits um, around. They'd sort of um, use just on um, uh, just very rough um, trim around, uh, wooden trim around the top um, of the ceiling to try and create a um, bit of a feature. Um, and then simply painted the, um, the floorboards underneath, uh, the supporting uh, joists. 
um, which is all very rustic, um, but it's not the look that we want to go through uh, for in here. And like with the bedroom, it creates a very, very dark um, atmosphere. It's light enough once the, the shutters open and in, uh, in summer, but we just want it to be a nice light room. Now, Julian is starting to take all this off. He's having great difficulty because they've uh, not only just put screws, but massive nails in, haven't they? Let's have a look. So this is complete overkill for what is um, a centimetre and a half. Yeah, probably. Centimetre and a half bit of wood. So that's what's what they've used to put it in. <laughs> so not great at all. Um, so Julian is now uh, on with that. And you can see that some of the plaster has come off. So the aim of this is we are taking all this trim off around the edge and then we are going to overboard this ceiling uh, with the new plasterboard. So I said I needed an aftershot. So I missed the first few plasterboards. And the plaster. And the plaster. <laughs> how many bags of plaster was it? Six. Six? And how many plasterboard did I miss? Seven. No, oh, I did 17 plasterboards in total. Oh, I'll have to count it back then. So. <laughs> a bit sweaty, babe. Oh, a little bit. <laughs> That was tough. All right, well, if you want to know, those bits that I filmed took 44 minutes. So, not bad. That's my exercise with Chris Barnacourt, don't it? Yeah. So, unfortunately, it was back to the beginning. This was the first new ceiling we installed at the Chateau. And doing it this way was what inspired us then to then purchase a plasterboard lift after the fact. We didn't add insulation to the ceiling because in the attic above, there is an open floor above it with insulation already in between the floor joists. And the floor's not been overboarded yet. It truly was an absolute nightmare, and I'm amazed we actually achieved it. I don't want it to fall. Do you want to do it? Just doing the last bit in the corner there, 
Um, so we've got just that tiny bit. It's been a really hard job, hasn't it? It's not been easy. No. <laughs> we, uh, we did the first four long panels together and then you've done these uh, smaller ones. Yeah, we've got a bit of a storm, a very small storm going on at the moment and the shutters are um, opening and closing. And we've got no light in here now because we took the light down so we know where the, uh, where the light's got to go back. But uh, it's a very, very dark and gloomy day. So we, here we have our other boxes of goodies and uh, this is our tiles and wallpaper and some of the paint selection for the bathroom. Let's see what it's like. Now we did have a sample of this. This is the wallpaper now. Let's have a look. What do you think? Nice, huh? The walls are now finished. Um, we will have some um, area to do around the bathroom, which uh, around the bath, which I'll explain in a moment. But we are trying to salvage um, this, this, this renovation as much as we can um, because we have four bedroom, uh, four bathrooms on this floor alone for the six bedrooms, and the cost, obviously, as you can imagine, is huge. So we didn't want to just automatically rip out every single bath. Um, the bath. Again, not too bad. Um, the mixer tap, however, had a bit of a leak. Um, so the plan was that, okay, well, the mixer tap is quite old fashioned anyway, in terms of not, not retro or classic old fashioned, but sort of 80s, uh, 80s chic, if you like, 90s, um, and also leaks. So it's, uh, we'll, we'll swap the mixer tap. That was the plan. Because of the taps, because it fits onto the bath, um, are a lot smaller than standard. Um, we have looked and looked and looked and tried to find replacement mixer taps. Not only this, it's quite, um, it's not common for uh, mixer taps for baths um, to be fitted onto bathtubs um, in France, it seems. They much rather put, prefer to put them in the water. With this in mind, we have really struggled. In fact, we can't find any, not even in the UK. Um, mixer taps um, with the size um, to replace to put onto the bath. So Julian said, okay, we're going to have to stick with this mixer tap and we're going to have to um, basically fix it. We tried, he tried yesterday for an hour to fix this leak and it, it just won't, the, everything's, everything's gone. We had all the bolts and the nuts and the screws and everything else. Of this mixer tap, um, we have to replace everything. The mixer tap and the bathtub. Um, so the tub that we found, um, that is aesthetically nice, the right price, fits with all the waste, everything else, um, is going to take three weeks to get delivered. Three weeks. <sighs> so the old bath is coming out, as you can see. And yesterday, Julian drained all the water out of the system and attempted to make some grooves for the new um, water feeds that are going up into the wall, we're putting them into the wall now, there's going to be um, taps for the bathroom and also the shower feeds as well, so two separate um, sets of taps there, and the uh, parts of the wall fell down. <laughs> um, as ever, things are uh, never straightforward, um, and then what happened was, there was, uh, once they'd capped off the water feeds, they started leaking. So we came back um, to check a couple of hours and we had yet another leak. So they've got a bit of a slow leak going on at the moment and um, basically Julian has now turned the water off again. So the reason I've stood in the hallway is I just wanted to show you what our hallway is turning into at the moment. The hallway is turning into a bit of um, an obstacle course at the moment because um, as you can see, we have boxes piled up everywhere, shower screens, bath screens, tiles. The top of the landing is like this as well, wallpaper. Um, and look what has arrived. The bath has arrived.
okay. Just contemplating, trying to get the, the most out of the wallpaper that we have left. Oh no, are we going to run out? We shouldn't do it, because we've got, there's three metres there. Right. There's probably four metres there, and there's ten there, seventeen, but the way that the, the wallpaper... The recurring pattern. Recurring patterns a, recurring pattern's a metre. Right. Um, but there were, but if I use this one next, mm -hmm. I mean, I'd have to cut out 55 centimetres right. to get the next pattern up. Yeah. Um, so I'm just working out what the next um, mm -hmm. roll is going to be. God, I'm not doing it. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay. I've purposely waited to film you doing the coving, <sighs> even though you finished one room, because the air has been a little bit blue. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened since then? You seem to have turned a corner a bit. Mm, yeah, kind of. It's uh, the thing was to get my head around how to cut the corners, and then all of a sudden it's clicked. Mm -hmm. So, long story short, you coving anybody. Um, first of all, make sure that your walls are lovely and straight, and got lovely ninety degree angles, so as you can see with. That's impossible here. Yeah, over yeah. here you've got wavy walls, wavy ceilings, and yeah. so it doesn't help, as you can see in that corner there, butting up to get a lovely 40, well, into a 90 degree, degree angle, 245 should look really nice, but because it's slightly out by a degree or two, either here or there, it gives you gaps. Well, that, that one's not too bad. Yeah. You just told me to film that one. Yeah. <laughs> film that corner. Film that corner. Yeah. Um, but yes. Okay. And the new ceiling roses up as well. And eventually, with all the ups and downs, the stops and starts, this large but dreary bathroom was transformed into our favourite bathroom in the chateau. <laughs> Thank you for watching everybody, we'll see you next week.